Done? Oh, yeah, it's done. It's done. Okay. Done. I mean, it needs to be stained, but we have to wait a year. We're going to stain it the matching color of the trim of the house. Um, there will be some red details on the inside, which you won't see. Um, we're planning on capping all of the posts with a two tier cap. Uh, one part will be red, one part will be matte or green to match the house. I mean, we really tried to make sure that it stayed with the, the historic features of the home. Mm -hmm. And we were glad we had come before you, but we didn't know we had to. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have had a permit before, and just we went to buy the fence, and it was just post the war, um, and the fencing material they were selling was too thin. And I said, anybody who walks by that is going to put their fist right. in it. So I stopped the process and waited until I could buy. This is three quarter inch pressure treated, top top of the line, best I could get. And you said you're going to stain it to match? To match the trim of the house. So it'll be cream instead of the green. I thought too much green would just look like a yeah. seed of green. Yep, and we'll start that next spring. They told us to wait a year so that it could season. We actually well, after you armor. listen to what we just said, you know now that you're supposed to. I do, and actually, I will let you know that I've made a point to let all the other realtors Thank know. You. And ironically, none of them knew. Okay. It wasn't just me. <laughs> I received it and I sent it to every one of the realtors in the board and explained to them if you're going to be selling properties in the West Side neighborhood. You need to understand that these are these are practices that you need to abide by. Now, one question I do have is: Does this apply to the Stratton Park District? Anything beyond Euclid? Yeah, and historically, the uh, historic, that's almost districts. a shame. Historic districts; those yeah. houses need watched after just as much as any other. Yeah, but I have I have sent want. it and explained to them that anything in the near West Side is. I and I know that. That's why I asked. Yeah. But I have asked them, I have explained to the realtors in our office specifically, but also sent to all other realtors the pamphlet, and, and, and ironically, you know, very few of us knew that was an issue. Yeah. I knew that there were issues with changing the structure of a home. You know, if you're gonna add a room on or a deck or something like that, fencing was never, and again, I've gotten two permits. And this will, now that Maple Avenue is designated, this will apply there mm -hmm. also. Wonderful. So you wearing this for you? I will take it. Have you seen that? I have not. No. Well, I have. I, I got the online copy just after our last meeting. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah as I said, this will apply in all the historic districts, be it the near west side, the Maple Avenue district, mm -hmm. or the, the downtown government district. Sure, uh, sure. The people in Stratton, if they would like to be at uh, the historic district, there's a process. I'm sure that we've got people on Maple Avenue would be happy to uh, explain, explain to that you. process. Yeah. I bet it's quite a process. It, it is, yes. But, I, but, but again, I just am wondering because I've sold a lot of houses up there. I actually had a question regarding fencing right. on yes. Huffman Street, and I told them I wasn't sure, so I would ask this evening. So. Right? Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. 
And you know, we're all we are always involved. I mean, we have to learn about flood insurance, and you know, the number of things that we involve ourselves in that have nothing to do with selling houses is immense. So if we don't know about it, you know, it really is a shame. I mean, they should know. As an organization, we should know this. And I'm happy even to propose we, we do what we call a lunch and learn, where we teach the new realtors, you know, different aspects. But we're talking about people who've been in the business for 30 years who didn't know about this. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. And we're allowing people continually, uh, you know, the people who bought the Blanford house on, on uh, Grove Street. I sold the house. I didn't know. I sold the house to them, you know? I didn't know what to tell them or where to, you know. Mm -hmm. so we, we need 